By the time I finished Adam Eve, I couldn't help but wonder who came up with the idea to put Mark and Amber together because that was a terrible idea. Samantha is clearly more suited for Mark than Amber will ever be. Y'all, when Adam Eve dropped, I just knew it was going to be great because Invincible was great. I'm looking forward to Invincible coming back. So, of course, I had to jump on top of Adam Eve. Now, I will say I loved it. I enjoyed every bit of it. And if anything, it made me like Adam Eve, aka Samantha, a lot more. Now, when I was watching Invincible and I saw of Mark and Amber's relationship, I was on board and I was trying to support Mark. However, I did not agree with the way Amber handled things and I don't agree with how she treated Mark. So I stopped shipping them real quick and I really hope they don't get back together because Mark definitely deserves better and I feel like he deserves someone who can understand him and that would be Samantha. They're both heroes so I feel like they would mesh really well based off that alone like they would really understand and get each other and it's interesting to see how Samantha's upbringing varied from Mark's upbringing because Mark's family was very supportive of Mark his dad was there the whole way to basically train him into his abilities while Samantha didn't have that like Adam Eve did a really good job on focusing on Samantha and giving us her story and her background that was really interesting and heartbreaking to see at the same time because Samantha is already adopted and then for her to go into a home where her dad is just horrible to her and her mother doesn't seemingly know how to stand up to the father and correct these behaviors because a child, I'm a firm believer that a child should be brought up in a loving environment. I mean, they're children. Nine times out of 10, they didn't ask to be here and it's a parent's duty to raise up that child and give the child everything that they need and Samantha did not get that. And it's kind of ironic because if you look at where Mark is now compared to Samantha, Mark isn't on the best of terms with his dad despite having that familial background, despite having that supportive family. Like it was all a lie in Mark's case as far as it goes with his dad. And that definitely makes me feel for Mark. But another reason I think Mark and Samantha would probably do well together would have to do with their family dynamics and their family backgrounds. I feel like they could both comfort each other and relate to the problems that they have with their dad. They both have issues with their dad. I mean, Mark's issue is on a grander scale, of course. They're cavemen without us. <laughs> You're wrong. I've seen you save people. But I feel like that's something that they can kind of bond over. At the same time, they do have their differences. Like, Samantha was adopted. She didn't have the capability of being open with her powers. Like she kind of had to go and do it on her own, sneak around. She didn't have that supportive and familial environment like Mark had when it came to his powers. And if I have to be honest, I do find Samantha's powers a lot more interesting than Mark's. And I think that the fact that people were literally after her powers and tried to duplicate them speaks volumes. I mean, I would have never guessed that Samantha was created in a government lab as some sort of project to make the ultimate superhero. Then it was kind of rough to see like the failed projects the government tried to create, or rather her siblings, her failed siblings, come after her and they clash and they have resentment towards Samantha because Samantha's perfect and they could never be like her. That was kind of sad to see, like I'm not even gonna lie. That was very heartfelt. Adam Eve did a really good job making me feel for Samantha because at the end of the day, I just want Samantha to catch a break. Like she kind of lost everyone she cared about. Then she's in this household with her dad where her dad is horrible to her. And when things start to look up and she joins the team team and she meets this guy, he does her dirty as well. So at this point, I just want Samantha to find happiness. And I feel like Mark could be a piece of that happiness and that Mark would accept her wholeheartedly. Overall, I love the writing behind Samantha, I love the writing behind Mark, and I really hope the two can come together and have some sort of future together, because I do think they'd be really well for each other. I'd be very disappointed if Amber and Mark ended up being in-game, especially if Amber didn't develop or change from her flaws whatsoever. Anyway, that's kind of all I have. I think I got across my main points. Y'all let me know how y'all felt about Adam Eve. How do you feel about Samantha as a character? How do you feel about what I said about Samantha and Mark being together? Let me know down below. I appreciate the support and the love. Thank y'all for tuning in. As always, Sierra Nova is out.